From humanoid warriors to unmanned drones, these Russian machines are reshaping the battlefield as we know it. Stay tuned for an inside look at the next generation of battlefield dominance, Theodore. Theodore, short for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, is a Russian humanoid robot known for its exceptional skill in handling firearms with both hands. Although it is a skilled marksman, Russia emphasizes Theodore's role as an AI advancement platform rather than a terminator. The demonstration of its weapon skills highlights its ability to prioritize tasks and make quick decisions. It can perform complex tasks and navigate challenging places with ease since it is outfitted with sophisticated servo motors and sensors. It gains efficacy in dynamic situations by self-learning and adapting through AI algorithms. Although civilian uses may be its primary focus, its capabilities still offer great promise for military application. In hostile environments, Theodore can function as an advanced reconnaissance unit, gathering intelligence without endangering human lives. Its aid in finding and rescuing stranded people, citizens or military, proves vital in disaster or conflict zones. Even if it isn't used in direct combat, it still offers crucial battlefield assistance, such as supply transfer and human-supervised weapon system control. By the way, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on the latest uploads and updates. Uran-9 The Russian Uran-9 is one of the most powerful ground drones in the world, with unmatched firepower among unmanned combat vehicles. It weighs 10 tons and is about 4.5 meters long by 2 meters wide, resembling an infantry fighting vehicle. It has unmatched offensive capabilities thanks to its 49 MEB or 120 Ataka anti-tank missiles, 7.62 mm machine gun, and 30 mm automatic cannon. It can also be fitted with IGLA anti-aircraft missiles for broad air defense. Its six Schmel, or reactive flamethrowers, which are mounted at the back of the turret, further improve its fighting capabilities. The Uran-9 has been already used in real combat operations in Syria and has reportedly demonstrated its effectiveness in the field. While specifics of its deployment in the Syrian conflict remain unknown, the Uran-9's employment demonstrated the system's capacity to navigate through complex battlefield terrain and efficiently engage hostile targets. Marker The Marker Combat Robot is an adaptable platform that works well in both conventional battlefield conflicts and intricate urban situations. Its compact, tracked vehicle design has several remarkable features. With an impressive travel range of up to 1,000 kilometers, it can cover a great deal of ground. Marker's exceptional range, capacity to move large objects, and ability to evacuate injured soldiers underscore its significance as a force multiplier in combat. Marker has undergone extensive testing in both simulated exercises and actual conflicts, regularly showing exceptional performance and receiving credit for its reliability. Because of its autonomy, it may operate for up to 50 hours straight or take on lengthy cross-country trips with little assistance from humans. Marker's hydraulic manipulator allows it to remove cargo containers on its own, increasing its ability to adapt for different military logistical scenarios. Scout Kamikaze and Logistics Robots Russia recently tested combat-oriented robotic units, including a Scout Kamikaze and a Logistics Robot. The test video showed a tank-like scout leading, followed by a large armored personnel carrier with a tracked logistics robot behind. The logistics robot supplies ammunition, delivers medicines, and evacuates the wounded, while the scout serves intelligence functions and can execute kamikaze actions in case of mines. Seratnik The versatile, tracked, armored vehicle Seratnik is excellent in both combat and reconnaissance roles, supporting guard and patrol work as well. With three operating modes, manual, automatic, and direct control, Seratnik provides flexibility and maneuverability. It can reach speeds of up to 40 km h and weighs no more than 7 tons, even with its powerful capabilities. With direct visibility and a 10 km remote control range, Seratnik performs well in difficult settings. It also functions as a fire support vehicle, carrying supplies, helping to evacuate injured people, and performing crucial guard duties. To protect the crew, its armored hull can resist gunfire up to 7.62 millimeters in caliber. 
The combat modules of Ceratnik are very adaptable and can be equipped with anti-tank missiles, machine guns, and grenade launchers. Its firepower can be increased with options like anti-aircraft missiles and a high-speed 30mm cannon. BR-2, BRG-1, and BR-1 robots. New combat robots were showcased at the Interpolitech's 2023 International Security Show in Moscow. Among them were the BR-2 robotic vehicle, armed with a flexible mounted machine gun, the BRG-1 robotic vehicle, specialized in casualty evacuation and cargo delivery, and the BR-1 mine laying vehicle, employed for remote controlled mine laying. According to the Grand Scientific and Production Association, these systems have been effectively utilized in the conflict zone, receiving positive feedback. Nirecta. The Nirecta's unified control system, which enables the smooth coordination of several robotic systems, is its fundamental component. When used by a human operator, it provides versatility by enabling both direct involvement on the front lines and remote control. Its control system can be deployed from different locations, such as armored vehicles or fixed points. It can load area maps and identify key targets prior to battle, improving its combat performance. The Nyeriekta is a crucial tool in military operations since special forces can operate it effectively in combat, enabling reconnaissance, adjusting fire on enemy positions, and transporting supplies to critical areas. Robotic Complex Platform M The remotely controlled Robotic Complex Platform M is mounted on a track chassis and equipped with a grenade launcher and machine gun system, enabling combat engagement without direct contact with the enemy. This adaptable platform, which was designed for reconnaissance, target detection, and engagement of both fixed and moving targets, is essential for providing military troops with fire support and for patrolling and guarding sites. The most recent version has distinct armor for the weapon platform and chassis, which means that both the robot and its operators will be safe during combat operations and will be better protected against enemy threats. What do you think of these incredible machines? Do you like the advancements being made in robotics for military applications? Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts.